expressed by Mr. Horgan to other contestants on The Price is Right in their decision-making and pricing games that is categorized as either stupid or misleading by the audience, as well as showing favoritism, is portrayed as a heel characteristic for entertainment purposes only. In actuality, Mr. Horgan is a prejudice against the contestant based on their sex, their ethnicity, or their intelligence. And now, for this Tuesday, April 12, 2011, it's the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap. Today's pricing games were the following. Coming or going, card game, switch, grocery game, pathfinder, and make your move. Our first contestant was Anna. She played coming or going for a home theater speaker system and a 46-inch HD TV. She chose the going price of $4,398 over the coming price of $8,934. And it was the going price, $4,398. I'm glad she didn't go with the coming price. I mean, I wouldn't see a 46-inch HD TV or a home theater speaker system going for $8,934 together. I'm glad she went with going. Great way to start the show. Chance played card game for a Nissan Juke F. He had to come within $1,000 without going over of the actual retail price. So with his $15,000 he was starting off with, his first card he drew was a jack, so $1,000 was added, $16,000 was his bid. He went again, he then drew an 8, now up to $16,800, with $800 added from that 8. Well, he kept on going, he then drew a 2, a deuce, $200 was added to that giving him a total now of $17,000. He kept on going. He then drew a king, adding another $1,000. He was up to $18,000. He kept on going. He then drew a six. He was up to $18,600. He went again, and then he drew a queen, adding another 1000 19,600. That's where he stopped. So, he drew a total of six cards and his bid was $19,600. Had to be within $1,000 without going over. Actual retail price, $21,170. A difference of $1,570. Just fell a little short. He had drawn at least one or two more cards he would have won. Amara played Switch for a Kitchen Island and a 30 inch sliding range. She kept the prices alone. So the Kitchen Island was at $2,899 still and the range was kept at $3,808. You know some members of the audience were shouting the Switch and you know what? She should have listened to them because she should have switched the prices. I remember a Kitchen Island going for $3,808. Crystal played Grocery Game for a trip to Jamaica. The theme of the grocery products today were blank and blank. For instance, one of them was Lee and Perrins. Another was Johnson and Johnson. That was the theme. Alright, Crystal first bought four Head & Shoulders shampoos. A bottle of Head & Shoulders went for $4.99. Four of them totaled $19.96. She had to get between $0.04 cents and $1.04 to win. She chose the Good & Plenty candy. One, of course. That box of Good & Plenty went for... $1.49. Total... $20.45. Over by 45 cents. I was thinking she should have chosen the baking soda, but that was a dollar nine. Even if she picked that, she still would have lost. That would have given her $21.05. Ugh. Too much of that shampoo she bought. Sorry to say. Emma played Pathfinder for a Chevrolet Cruze LS. First number she stepped on was 1. For the second number, she first stepped on the 8. It was not 8. 
She went to the double burner oven for her first help. She believed it was sixty-three dollars and not eighty-two dollars. I wish she had said eighty-two because it was eighty-two. Now she went to the massage pad. She believed it was a hundred dollars and not seventy-five dollars. It was a hundred dollars. So for her second chance, she stepped on the seven as the second number, and it was seven. Then for the third number, she stepped on six instead of the three or the five. It was six. Then she stepped on the eight instead of the two for the fourth number. It was the eight. So now for the win, she stepped on the nine instead of the five, making the price seventeen thousand six eighty nine. And that was correct. Emma won the car. Great win. Rare that uh, Pathfinders won nowadays. Ronald played Make Your Move for a mini generator, a laptop computer, and a sailboat with trailer. He placed the generator at $61, the laptop computer at $980, and the sailboat with trailer $5,899. He didn't get any of them right. He lost. The generator was $89, the laptop was $615, and the sailboat was $9,980. To me, I felt $8,999 was the price of the sailboat. However, today, we had two big wins. They were coming and coming or going, and Pathfinder. Anna and Emma are named the MVPs of Price is Right. And this week, the Price is Right Price Game Recap is sponsored by Betty Crocker Pie Crust Smith. Expertise from our kitchens to yours. That's the slogan for Betty Crocker, folks. See you tomorrow.